Hi, I'm Professor Adam, and in today's video we're going to be talking about solving ice tables for chemical equilibria. So in this example, we're being asked to construct an ice table for one molar SO3 reacting with two molar H2O according to the equilibrium equation SO3 plus H2O gives H2SO4. So the first step, of course, is to form our basic ice table. So that will be a horizontal line and a vertical line. On the left hand side, we put the values for initial, change, and equilibrium. Then at the top, we put our equilibrium equation. So SO3 plus H2O is in equilibrium with H2SO4. So we know the initial concentrations of SO3 is 1.0 molar, H2O is 2.0 molar, and for H2SO4, we'll assume it's zero because we aren't explicitly given that in the question. Then the change will be minus X for SO3 and H2O and plus X for H2SO4, giving the final equilibrium as 0.1 minus X for, for SO3, 2.0 minus X for H2O and X for H2SO4. So with these values filled in, we have successfully constructed our ice table for this question. This question, we're told that an initial closed system contains 0.1 molar NO, 0.05 molar H2, in equilibrium with 0.1 molar H2O, and N2, which is initially 0 moles. At equilibrium, the concentration of NO is equal to 0.062 molars, and we're being asked to calculate Kc. So, of course, the first thing to do is to form our ice table. So, we draw out the basic structure where we have our initial, our change, and our equilibrium. And then at the top we put our equilibrium equation, which is 2NO plus 2H2 is in equilibrium with N2 plus 2H2O. Okay, so then the initial concentrations were told we just fill in to the table. Um, and so N2 is of course zero at the start and H2O is 0 0.100. The change then will be minus two X for both NO and H2 and then plus X for N2 and plus two X for H2O. So then we're told that at equilibrium that the concentration of NO is 0. 062 and so as a result we're now able to calculate for the value of x so we know that the initial concentration of no is 0 0.100 and then minus 2x is the change and this will equal the equilibrium value of 0 0.062 which gives x as being equal to 0 0.019 which we can then fill into the table and use um, to calculate our values at the equilibrium. So using this knowledge, we're able to find that the equilibrium concentration of H2 is 0 0.012 moles molar, uh, N2 is 0 0.019, and H2O is 0 0.138. So um, we're, then the next step is, of course, to form our equilibrium constant expression as normal. So Kc is equal to the products over the reactants, which would be N2 the concentration of N2 times the square of the concentration of H2O, square remember because there's a 2 as a stoichiometric coefficient in our balanced equation, then over the concentration of NO squared times the concentration of H2 squared, which is equal to 0 0.019 times 0 0.138 squared all over 0 0.062 squared times 0.012 squared, which gives us a final value of Kc being equal to 650. And so we'll just square our answer there so it's easier to spot at the end. So that's that question answered. We've calculated Kc successfully. So in this, this question, we're being asked to solve for the equilibrium concentrations of each species at equilibrium. So a flask of six liters contains 0.06 moles 
of H2 and 0 0.06 moles of Br2, bromine, at 700 Kelvin, which is in equilibrium with HBr. So the initial concentration is zero. What is the equilibrium concentration of each species if Kc is equal to 64 at 700 degrees Kelvin? So we're not given the balanced equation here, so we first of all have to form that before we can form our ice table. So if we look at um, what we have, we start off with H2 plus Br2 is in chemical equilibrium with HBr. So we have two species, H and Br, hydrogen and bromine. So on the right-hand side, we have one of each, and on the left-hand side, we have two of each which means that we just simply need to add one of each on the right-hand side, which gives us a simple H2 plus Br2 is in equilibrium with 2HBr. Okay, so then we can form our ice table as normal. So we'll do this with our, of course, our horizontal and our vertical lines, putting initial on the side, change, and equilibrium. And then put the balanced equilibrium equation on the top, like so, and then we can start to fill in the values based on what we know from the table. But we've forgotten one step here. We're told not the concentration of our H2 and our bromine, but actually the total amount. So we need to find out what the concentration will be. So the concentration of H2 is equal to the concentration of Br2, which is equal to the uh, 0.06 moles all over the six liters, which gives us a concentration of 0 0.01 moles per liter. And we're told that, remember, the concentration of HBr is zero at the, at the start. So fill these into the table. We have 0 0.01, 0 0.01 for both H2 and Br2. And then for HBr, we have zero. So the change here is going to be minus X for both hydrogen and bromine and plus 2X for HBr. So that gives us our equilibrium values as 0.01 minus x for both H2 and Br2. And then the equilibrium value for HBr is 2x. So we can then insert these values into an equilibrium expression and see if it's possible to approximate the values. So Kc, as usual, is going to be equal to the concentration of the products, which is HBr squared over the concentration of the reactants, which is H2 and Br2. So we then can plug in our equilibrium values to find out what we are left with. So we have a 2x squared over 0 0.01 minus x squared. which is going to be approximately equal to 4x squared all over 0 0.01 times 0 0.01, which is equal to 64, which we're told, remember, in the question as the equilibrium constant. So um, if we then solve for x, we get a value of 0 0.0064 all over 4 to the square root, which gives us a value for x of 0 0.04. Now, we've approximated here where we don't need to consider x because we're assuming that the concentrations are very small compared to the initial concentration. So we have to check for this, of course. So we have a value of x as being 0 0.04. So we put that over the initial concentration and we'll see, multiply that by 100% or by 100, sorry, and then we'll get 400% which of course is is quite uh, means that x is small and is not significant. Well, this means that we're our assumption is wrong and that x is significant. So we have to actually explicitly solve our quadratic equation. Okay, so let's go back to our Kc values. So Kc is equal to HBr squared, if we remember, all over H2 times Br. Or so that then is equal to 2x squared all over 0 0.01 minus x squared, which we'll just write out explicitly for um, clarity. 
So that is equal then to 4x squared <clears throat> all over 0 0.0001 minus 0.02x plus x squared is equal to 64. So um, we can then um, rearrange this equation so that 4x squared is equal to 64 times the denominator there, which is 0 0.0001 minus 0.02x plus x squared, which is then going to be equal to 4x squared x equal to 64 or sorry, it's equal to 0 0.0064 minus 1.28x plus 64x squared. So that means that 0 is going to be equal to 60x squared minus 1.28x plus 0 0.0064, which gives us our standard quadratic equation where we have the values for a, b, and c, which we can fill into uh, the quadratic formula where x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, which would give us the values for x as being equal to 0 0.008 or 0 0.0133. Now, of course, um, if we then look at our ice table again, we have the equilibrium concentrations of H2 and Br2 being equal to, so H2 at equilibrium is equal to 0 0.01 minus x. So if we use this value, 0 0.0133, we'll end up with a negative value, which of course is chemically meaningless, but of course in the quadratic equation it does have meaning, but for our purposes there is no meaning to this, which means our value for x is going to be this one, the 0 0.008, which we can then fill in to find our equilibrium um, concentration. So the equilibrium concentration of H2O and Br2 would be 0 0.01 minus 0 0.008, which would give us 0 0.00. .00 2. And then for the concentration of HBr, it's going to be 2x. So HBr equilibrium concentration is equal to 2x, which means that it's equal to 0 0.016. So we can fill this into Kc to confirm our answer. So we're going to have Kc is equal to HBr concentration squared all over H2 squared, or sorry, H, the concentration of H2 and the concentration of Br2. Um, so that is equal to 0 0.016 squared over 0 0.002 squared, um, which gives us a value of 64, which checks out and means that we've now found the equilibrium concentrations of all of our um, components. So the concentration of Br2 is the same as H2, so that is going to be 0 0.02 molar and HBr is 0 0.016 molar. So that's how you solve um, ice tables for chemical equilibria. Thanks for watching.